Hi Mousy. Hello Ricardo. Good evening teacher, how are you? I'm pretty good, you know, kind of uh, worried at this moment because I have not realized that the link was, um, oh, I forgot how to say vencido. Ah, really? Okay. Well, yeah. uh, does, does class, well, this class is the last? Uh, yes. Yeah. Ah, well. Okay, teacher. Yeah. This is the last one. Um, basically, if we had not missed the um the theme in uh this month right september in the past month uh we would have finished yesterday yeah uh, i remember uh, uh i don't know what to say bueno por el día de asueto que adicionó yeah. la asamblea por eso yes exactly mm -hmm. the day off because of the day off um, that's that's why, right? And you know, I was about to start the meeting today, and I realized that the link was not there anymore. And I just remember, oh my goodness, it was programmed only for yesterday, because yesterday was the last day. So that's why I just created the link right now, and I just send it to the to the group, right? And that's why I I had to admit everybody one by one because I couldn't change the the configuration of everything. So that's why I'm pending here. Por eso estoy pendiente acá, admitiéndolos a uno por uno a todos. <laughs> okay, gosh, anyway. Um, hey, so guys, uh, who was it last night? I know that some of you still stayed to complete the exam. Uh, what time did you go to bed? For example, Gabriel. Uh, repeat question, teacher. What, what time did you finish yesterday? The exam? Uh, um, 10 30 p.m. Wow, so 30 more minutes. Okay. Who else stayed? Mabel, did you stay? No? No. No. I know that Patricia left. Also, Mousy. Manuel, I think that finished also. Okay. Um, so well, um, anyway, um some things that we will complete today. Uh, I need you to complete the service, okay. The two service. One survey is for Insafor, and one survey is for your teacher, right? So um, be honest, right? Be honest. Remember that at the end, they will not tell me, hey, you know, Mousy said that you were not a good teacher. No, I mean, they never say that. So um, so you have to uh, complete those two surveys, okay? One is for INSA4. Um, it's the, like the satisfaction of the program, right? And you complete them. Then uh, we'll see the grades, okay? Which is the final part, okay? Uh, to see how well, how bad, okay, you continue, not continue with the program. Okay, oops, wait, Christian is there, okay, admitting, and also Miguel. Okay, so um, basically that's what we are going to um, see today, and I think that, oh, by the way, today is only one hour. So, uh, which means that um, we will finish at 9.30, right? Miguel, I'm going to mute you because there is like too much noise. Um, today is only one hour. So uh, we finish, we finish at 9.30, okay? Uh, basically in that way is for you to have like the complete time of the attendance, right? That it is, um, that's why it is for, right? So that's what it is. So. Dale, 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 dale. Esperate, 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 esperate. Okay, yeah. Uh, mute. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm going to share right now um, with you the link. Okay. Oops, wait a minute. Two more people. Uh, por eso le quitamos la sala de espera. 
Okay, I'm going to share with you right now the link in 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 in, in WhatsApp. Okay, so please go to it. That is the one for a speak. Okay, uh, for a speak for Insta for. Okay, uh, completed according to the information that is requesting you there. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, because for example, in here, okay. Um, it's asking you this information, okay? So uh, you need this one, nombre completo, como aparece en su ley, dirección de correo electrónico, okay, con la cual accede a las clases, número de celular vigente y nombre legal de su empresa, okay? Datos del curso son estos, se los van a pedir en esa encuesta, okay? Acá está, principiante 5, cuando iniciamos, cuando terminamos, okay? Y este va a ser el link de la encuesta. Al finalizar la encuesta, por favor, tomar una captura de pantalla de la parte final donde aparece el mensaje de su respuesta fue enviada. ¿Ok? Luego escribir su nombre completo y enviarla al grupo. ¿Ok? Aquí hay un error. Puedo corregir que así me lo dieron. Enviarla a su grupo correspondiente de WhatsApp. Entonces, al mismo grupo la mandan. ¿Ok? And then the message, which is from Insa4. Right? For all the support. El yes. código del curso es el es este, PN16. Es que a veces tira un combo que hay que escogerlo. Ah, sí, el P, eh, si le pide no. este, si le pide ese, sí. Si le pide la orden de inicio, que es el que estaba revisando, es este. It's this one. Okay. Okay. PN16, el que aparece P, en el grupo. PNIT16. Okay, uh, I will paste it right now in the chat. Um, okay, um, try to complete it, right? And follow the instructions. So I'm gonna wait for it. When everybody finishes, I will share the link, which is for the teacher, okay? Complete it as honest as possible. Let me see who's writing me. Oh, sure. Get connected is the last class. Who was this? Le dije que sí, pero no sé qué es eso. Uh, what do you mean, teacher? Oh, it's Joanna. Okay, great, Joanna. I think that you're there already. Ahorita se me ha encuesta, teacher. Yes, please. The one that okay. is on the chat, go okay. and complete it. Okay, very good. Hi, Marina. Thank you for joining us. Um, right now, try to complete the survey that is in the chat. Hi, teacher. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I was lost in an, uh, another link. <laughs> yeah, sorry about it. My bad. My bad. I forgot that it was only for yesterday, the link. And then it uh, got Benzina. I don't know how to say Benzina. I forgot. Okay. Let me see. Roberto is here. Okay, uh, Roberto, you're there? Okay, Roberto, if you can hear me, go and complete uh, the survey that is in the chat, please. Excuse me, coach. Hello, Luis. Uh, in the blank where it said, Ingresa el número completo de la orden. ¿Cuál oh. es el número? It's the one that is there in the chat. It says um, orden de inicio 28629741. Is that one? Uh -oh. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome.
Hello, Angel. Angel. Hello, oh, try to come. Uh, try to complete the survey that is in the chat, please. That's the word that we had for today. Okay. Teacher, what is the, the number of the uh, encuesta? The number of the order, um, that one is, uh, look at the chat. I mean, the, the information that I provided you, it says orden de inicio, where it ah, says okay. the curso. That is okay. the, the order, the number. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, everybody finished? No teacher. Okay. What is the name of the provider teacher? In that one, speak. Speak. Okay, speak. Yep. Okay. Speak. Oh, it's the order the initial. Okay, and then the please speak. Speak. Okay. Speak. Inglés principiante. ¿En qué fecha inició el curso? There you had the information, the, all the information that I provided you there with the link. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, uh, so 
for the ones already finished, I'm going to share right now the link of the other evaluation, that one. Uh, oops, Madeline is there. I didn't notice. It, um, here. Um, sorry about this one, okay, but I, I tried to contact, it's not Mauricio Sandoval, it's Mauricio Ramirez. I already contacted the, um, the coordinator, but I didn't get answer, right? So, but this is supposed to be the, the, um, the survey that is uh, directed to the teacher, right? Um, so they're completed according to the instructions. There you will have write the um, group's name, okay? And all the other information which is going to be requested. And well, be honest with that one, right? Don't worry about it because um, they never let us know um, how was it. <laughs> okay, there you go. Teacher, pero lo que sale del grupo este es el PNIT16. That is the name of the group. I mean, okay. it's the code that they assign because está la orden de inicio y el código de grupo. Ah, ok, thank you. We will send send the the screen in the WhatsApp group. Um, you know, for that one, I was not requested to send it. Um, let me see. Yeah, I was not requested. Me? I was not requested to send it in the previous group. Did you have to send it? Mm, yes. Okay, then send it for this one too, please. Okay. I guess that is as evidence that you completed the, what it was requested. Okay, thank you, teacher. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, and it says Mauricio Sandoval. Can't believe it that they confused the last name. <laughs> Already finished, go. Okay, perfect. Send them the screenshot of the, um, of the survey. Teacher. Yes. In my survey, appear Herbert. Uh, really? No, that's not Just possible. Kidding. <laughs> okay, you. I was getting worried about it. I, I, I mean, I would prefer to have Mauricio Sandoval and not Herbert. <laughs> it should read Mauricio Herbert. No, I still don't like it. It was like, and and I was named after the, um, after a boyfriend, not of my mom, but from my grandma. Well, that's that's what the story says, right? That one ex of my grandma, um, his name was like that. So that's why I was named. After him, <laughs> that's terrible. Okay, uh, let me know when everybody finished, please. So, 
or if someone is missing. Estoy trabajando en la última encuesta, teacher. Okay, great. Great. Get excited. Be honest with that one. Hey, coach. Tell me. Thank you for all. You were a good teacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your patience and also for the, um, for making the great effort to get connected because I know that this time it's hard. Yes. It's really hard. You are a very dynamic teacher. Okay, great. Nice to know. Hey, um, it's a shame that we were not like in person because when it's in person, generally... Um, we don't have like a party, but at least um, we can share something to eat, right? And have like a, a gosh, how do you say a menu? Uh, like a nice moment, right? Yes. Yeah, so it's a shame that it was not in person, but I know that the schedule is kind of difficult. Um, do I have to wait for someone still? No, or everybody finish? <coughs> By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, yes, I mentioned yesterday that, um, that if you are willing to continue with the program uh, and during the next week you deliver like the documents or everything that they ask for, your next module is going to be starting on the 17th. 17th, okay. Yeah, on the 17th. Mm -hmm. But that depends on how fast you deliver all the documents, right? Okay. So, um, we have, yeah. So it's going to we be have a time to rest, teacher. One week, one we week to rest. A, huh? One, one week, week to uh, rest. It's a short time, teacher. <laughs> I know, I know, but at least you can rest one week. Yeah. For me, it's very difficult because uh, I have two weeks in two weeks out of my country, and I have to to do big effort to connect. Me. Yeah, but you did, you did, yes. you did really great. What do you usually do when you don't get connected to these classes? No, I, I left only two classes, teacher. No, 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 but I mean, when, when you didn't have these classes at this time, this one hour and 30 minutes, uh -huh. what do you usually do, guys? Uh, watch TV? No, watch TV, uh, take it easy in my house. Okay, cool. Uh, or, Spend time with the family. Yes. Talk okay. with my wife. Well, spend time with the wife or the husband, on the other hand, right? Things I- or Boyfriend or girlfriend, I don't know. Since I began the, to study English teacher, uh, I think that my wife is very, Far away <laughs> of me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, after this one, you can start learning French. That is the language of love. Oh. And you talk to her in French. Ooh. So you get her fall in love. Okay. I no. have a I have a phrase in French in my arm. Really? What does yes. it say? Excuse me? What does it say? It said, eh, la gente es focus, cuisines, el amor es para quien lo siente, el, el odio es para quien lo siente, solo el amor es para siente. Oh, so poetic. Yep. Okay, you know, the only phrase that I know how to say in French is, uh, je ne parle pas français. I don't speak French. <laughs> uh. So I might use it one day. I don't know. Uh, should I wait for someone else or are we finished? Mm -hmm. You know for now, Francois? 
We finish, no. teacher. No, I don't. Like I'm probably. doing the teacher evaluation. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Okay. Well, in the teacher, meantime. In the group, it's basics. Uh, P-N-I-T-16. Oh, yes. Yeah, actually, it's the only one that gives you. It does not give you any other, yes. other option. When I saw, when I saw the, the code, I thought there are a 16 level of beginners. <laughs> I actually, no, I have no idea. Let me see. Oh, well, I have somehow an idea uh, of how many teachers we are, but I have to look for the group because I think that there are like 20 groups, around 20. Let me see, I got it here. Actually like 26. After this, we change to intermediate or we need, we need to complete another. If I'm another. not wrong, if I'm not wrong, you go to the intermediate, I think, right? No, um, it's the Prince. The beginner six or is beginner six? I'm not sure. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure about um the the levels of the program. Uh but for sure you go to the sixth one. Okay. Um and also probably you're gonna be assigned a new teacher, right? Um, I don't know if it's going to be she or he. I don't have idea, don't ask me. But I will show you this, right? Which is the important part of the date. Okay. I think I'm just going to reduce this. Okay. So oops, here. Okay. Um, there I go. Okay. Finally, I could get all the uh all the works, even from the ones who were pending. Okay, thank you so much for for sending it. Okay. Um, so there you go. Okay, with all your grades. Okay, remember that for all the modules, for all the modules, okay, you will have four homework assignments. Okay, you will have two oral evaluations and also two forums and the two exams. Those are all the evaluations that you will get. Okay, uh, according to what they provided me, because people from Speak in Insta4, they are the ones who provided me this. Okay, uh, everybody is approved. I have only two, okay, who failed. But for example, this person, Luis Vasquez, he got connected like just, um, I don't know how many times, but never appear and Ingrid either, right? So then for the rest, the grade to approve is seven, right? So which means that uh, all of you got more than seven in this one, okay? So I don't know if so far you have um, any questions or doubts. Now, the attendance, that's another thing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the part of the attendance. That's another thing. Uh, just to clarify, I have, have not updated the attendance from yesterday yet. Okay. Um, this is the one. I clarify, I'm still missing to update the attendance from um, yesterday and from today. Okay, todavía me falta incluir la de ayer y la de hoy. So these numbers can uh, increase, okay? So, uh, but that will be the final attendance that you are going to be getting. Okay. The, Squares in red are the times that you did not get connected to the classes, right? As well as the ones in green. Like I said, I'm still missing one from yesterday and one from today. So, um, I don't know if you have any doubts. Teacher. Tell me. 
Can you scroll down, please? What is the pie? <laughs> um, this one? Yes. Okay, in this one, I have a record that you just got connected five minutes. Teacher, I never connected five minutes only. Let me double check them, but that's what I got. I mean, it might have been the possibility that the, that your name was duplicated and the other minutes are with a different name because that happens too. A veces pasa que eh, si se cambian el nombre, se divide la cantidad de minutos entre el primer nombre que tenían y el otro nombre. So let me verify. Yes. Because en, en algunos casos me estuve conectando solo con el teléfono, entraba como Marina López, creo. Y luego me conectaba acá con la compu y aparece todo mi nombre. O sea, tengo como todo mi nombre. Entonces okay. creo que... it, it might be that. Ok, me pasaba seguido con Mr. Roberto. Me pasaba seguido porque salía siempre el nombre a veces duplicado o se o diferente. Right, so, but let me verify. At the end, uh, you don't get affected either. You already have the 85%, about 80 of attendance. Thank you. I don't see my attendance, teacher. Oh, sorry, Roberto, you are at the bottom. Ah, oh, okay, okay. That's right. Like I said, I clarified that we are still missing from yesterday and from today. Todavía falta la de ayer y la de hoy. Okay. Okay, I have to update that. Y ahí los I yes, tell me. Uh, what is the meaning of the green ones? The green ones are the days in which I receive a notification from you that you were not going to get connected. Oh, thank you. And if it is red, it means that uh, you didn't say anything and you just didn't get connected. Okay, thank you. At the end, the... It is just for my purposes because at the end, uh, it's the same thing, right? Les afecta igual. Aunque se solicite permiso, según me han informado de parte de coordinación, aunque se solicite permiso, de igual manera, um, siempre se ve afectado porque siempre se descuentan los minutos. Insafor nos solicita que, pues, estén conectados a las clases a uh, los 90 minutos, si la clase es de hora y media. En este caso, que estamos, que la clase es solamente de una hora, pues, hasta las nueve y media, ya de ahí para allá se puede desconectar sin ningún problema. Ya tiene sus 60 minutos ganados. Right? So, okay. and, uh, for future, for the future, guys, my advice is that always try to get connected to the class. Try to um, participate. I know that sometimes you have problems with your work because um, you have to work, right? It's normal. Uh, but I always try to make an effort. And if not, get connected as a listener. Al menos estoy conectándose como oyente, le va a quedar registrado que sí se ha conectado a las clases. Right? So, um, please keep in mind that for the future classes. Right? For the future classes of the program. Okay? Uh, that would be the only thing. I don't know. If so far you have any questions, any doubts, Questions, doubts, suggestions. So the, the teacher is, is the last the last class. Yes, this is the last one. Uh, I will tell you in Spanish to be clear. Así, no, no creo que ya me vean esta última clase. Este, um, esta es la última. Uh, ya mañana ya no se conectan. Según me informan, dependiendo qué tan pronto ustedes entreguen documentos, qué tan pronto, bueno, entreguen lo que ellos les solicitan. No sé qué les solicitan. Pero tan pronto lo hagan, si lo hacen la próxima semana, um, ya para el 17 estarían empezando el siguiente módulo. Okay. En, en, en este caso, teacher, sería principiante 6. Sí, eso es lo que le comentaba, a, bueno, nos aclaraba incluso Gustavo. Al parecer sí creo que sigue con principiante 6. No estoy seguro, no le voy a mentir. Cómo lleva el orden y safor con los grupos, right? Uh, because they use weird names for some things, I don't know. 
Um, pero, pues, que pasan al siguiente nivel, pasan al siguiente nivel. <laughs> right. Which is the good thing. Uh, so, I don't know. Any other question? Any other doubt? Si no, pues, vamos a repasar solamente un poquito uno de los temas que hemos visto que sí vi que les costó un poco, especialmente en la uh, presentación oral, right? Mm -hmm. En el speaking. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> Como yo me cambié de empresa, o sea, yo ya, bueno, ahora mandé la planilla para, para la inscripción y todo, y ya me están mandando lo, lo que son los cursos. ¿verdad? Pero no sé, o sea, si tendría que hacer algo otro proceso, no sé qué tendría que mandar, entonces no sé si. Oh, I'm going to be honest with you, I have no idea. En ese caso pueden escribir ahí en el chat, ahí está a la persona que se llama Jessica, ella es la encargada, ella es la coordinadora. Entonces, ella es de speak. Ella es la que se encarga de organizar los grupos, de ver que tengan los documentos, cuándo se van a dar los inicios. Es la coordinadora de organizar todo. Okay. Entonces, um, ahí está ella en el grupo, donde estamos ahorita en WhatsApp, ella está en ese grupo. So, I think that you can text her there y solicitar la información de qué más hace falta o cuál es el siguiente paso. Okay. Supondría. Ahí, Marina, perdón. Yes. Ahí creo que necesitas tres meses de estar en tu nuevo trabajo para que ellos te estén dando la documentación, para que te inscribas al próximo curso. Si no has cumplido los tres meses, es la empresa anterior la que te va a entregar esos documentos. Um, ahí, uh -huh. bueno. A ver, entonces ahí como... <risa> Pero en mi caso, digamos, cuando yo inicié, solo tenía 15 días de, en el nuevo trabajo. Prácticamente solo lo que me dijo, antes de Jessica había otra persona. Solo lo que me dijo es de que necesitaba, digamos, la información de la empresa, la nueva empresa, el NIT y, y que constatar la que ya estaba trabajando con ellos, no, no me pusieron así como, digamos, eh, algún periodo de tiempo. Solo sería de preguntarle a, a sí, Jessica. Ajá. Qué buena onda, Cabal te va a dar paso, porque yo hace un año intenté eso y me dijeron que no, que tenía que tener tres meses para yo poder entregar documentos con ellos. Sí, bueno, eh, el mes pasado, cuando iniciamos... Ajá, yo le dije ¿verdad? que me voy a cambiar y me dijo de que si iba para una empresa donde cotizaba seguro y teníamos esos beneficios, sí, o sea, podía entrar, ¿verdad? pero sí no sé qué, qué documentos o qué es lo que hay que mandar, porque, o sea, conmigo, mi compañera fue la que hizo todo el trámite y mandaba ahí las... las es un formulario de, la boleta, de Excel que ¿verdad? tienen. Uh -huh, yo sé, sí. bueno, pero yo voy a consultar bien. Texture. Incluso eh, hace poco para este curso, eh, digamos la persona de recursos humanos que recibí antes ese Excel ya no labora a, a donde estoy. Entonces ahí había como que eso de que ya había pasado la semana y, <ríe> y no se había mandado la documentación. Eh, allí sería de que... De, de, Tendría que darle el contacto inmediato a Jessica para que ella se comunique con uh -huh. ellos y volver a llenar, digamos, eh, la información que sí, sí te compete. ¿no? Sí. Tu do y tu need, vale. el nombre y, y allí, allí tienen el formulario. ¿eh? Gracias. That's good to know. That's good to know. Pero escríbale a Jessica. Um... Creo que así ya de primera mano ya le va a decir pues qué es lo que tiene que entregar o qué es lo que tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? Um, and yeah, she's, she's really cool, actually. So I think that uh, she's going to help you, right? Um, now, so one thing, okay, like I was telling you, just want to practice just a couple of things with you guys, which I saw you had problems with. Let me share with you. This was the exam that we practice, right? Now, um, to describe, okay, what you have done recently, right, in the last six months, some of you did great, and uh, some others uh, had some issues describing it, okay, 
Um, so let's have some practice with this. We just have like 19 minutes and that's it. Okay, then we are done. Okay. And it would have been a pleasure to be with you. Now, uh, let me see one volunteer to describe uh, five things. Yep, there is never a volunteer. <laughs> okay, then let me choose uh, democraticamente. Okay, um, let's try it with Manuel. Are you there? My teacher. Okay, now can you tell us um, at least one or two things that you have done recently in the last days? Yeah. Example the, the yesterday. Okay, like yesterday, what things have you done recently? In the last week, for example. Um, um, uh, I uh, in the, the 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 last week I I had to to present the info. Okay, uh, stay there. Um, is that the structure of the present perfect? I have to. I have I have to present the info. Okay, let me write example. Let me write example. You said I have or had. Ah, I have. I have like this. Okay, I have what? Two. Present the info. Present. Uh, oh, I don't know. Presentar or not? O entregar. Okay, to deliver or hand in. You can say Hanover is another one. It's a phrasal verb. I have to Hanover the inform information. Okay, stay yeah. there. Stay there. Now let me see. Uh, is this sentence present perfect? Everybody. Without two. No. Without two. Like this. Now, no go. It, is it present perfect now or something is missing? No, it's missing. You, you, have, you, to, it? you, have, you have to fix it. You have to use a, a bear in. in okay, this is a, it's a phrasal verb. Yes. You need a. A bear in past participle. Okay, be careful, be careful. Okay, les voy a cambiar este por uno pues más comprensible. Sí. The liver. Okay. Ah, okay. Now, be careful, okay, because remember that if you are using present perfect, and this is one of the things that I found out with many of you, don't get confused because if you say, not here, here, if you say, I have to deliver the information is it the same what you are saying here es lo mismo lo que está diciendo no no it's different teacher it's different okay what are you saying in the first one in spanish yeah Yo he llevado la información. Uh, close, but no. Ah, yeah, another one. La información. Oh, how can you repeat? Yo entregué la información. Ah, entregué. Oh, yo entregué. Is that what you're saying? No, yo he entregado. Yo he entregado. Sí. 
Yo he entregado la, la información. Yo he entregado la información. Very good. And in the second one, what are you saying? Yo tengo que entregar la información. Exactly. Okay. Now you see both of them are different. So, yes. depending on what you want to say, okay, you are going to use either of them. Now, for the speaking exam, I was asking you about present perfects of things that you have done. Las cosas que usted ha hecho. Oh, he viajado. He salido con alguien por ahí. He comido bastante. He empezado el gimnasio. So, things like those ones, right? But in English. Okay. So, think about one thing that you have started recently. Piensa en una cosa que ha empezado a hacer recientemente. Right? Now, can you say the example? Let's try with Elizabeth. You're muted. I don't know, teacher. Something that you have done recently. Gone out with friends a lot. Watch a lot of movies. Travel to another country. I have bought several I things. Have, I have filmed um, some videos for my work, maybe. Okay, you had filmed some videos for your work. That is one, okay. Monica, how about you? I have to brought my sister um, for her anniversary. Okay, can you repeat it? I have to. I have brought my oh, sister. Okay. Oh, yes. Brought my sister. Okay. Uh, from the university. I don't know if from it's okay. Uh, yes. He, he traído a mi hermana a la universidad. Yes. But you mean traído de que la ha ido a recoger? Yes. Okay. For that one is this one. Pick it up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you had picked up your sister from the university. Okay. Good. Pick. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mousy, how about you? Something you have done recently. I have sent a lot of resume and I have eaten a lot of cookies. Okay, oh, I got questions about those as why you have eaten a lot of cookies. Okay, uh, but well, I have sent, send it or sent? Sent. Send it or uh -huh. sent? It's sent. sent, right, it's sent, good. So you had sent a lot of resumes, curriculums, Yes. Okay, good. Applying for a job. Uh, Gabriel, how about you? Um, I have finished uh, the my favorite favorite series. You have finished your favorite series? Which is your favorite series? Uh, uh, its name is Primal. Primal. Netflix, Amazon, HBO. HBO. Uh, HBO. Really? Primal is the name. Okay, I'm going to look for it. Okay, good. Sergio, how about you? Something you have done recently. I have visited uh, three projects during the last three months. Oh, very good, great job. Uh, Patricia, how about you? What have you done recently? In my case, uh, first, I have started my little business and I have gone to the gym every day. Very good. Nice. So, 
Start or started? Started. Started. It's started. Okay, started. very good. Now, those were the examples requested for the speaking exam. Now, the other one was about the conditions. Remember the zero conditional. Simple present, simple present, all the time. Okay. Now, can you say a condition for you, uh, Roberto? If I don't drink water during the day, uh, I feel thirsty. Okay. That's an <laughs> it's an obvious one, but it's, it's valid, actually. Okay, Marina, how about you? Um. If I I pay I paid for <laughs> I don't know. If I fail or pay? No pay. Oh, if I pay, okay. I'm paid for the shirt is my <laughs> I don't know. Okay, if I pay <laughs> Okay, that's all we need to practice last time. Okay, if I pay. Yo pago for what? Ah, si yo pago por algo es mío, algo así. Ah, okay. Okay. So, uh, how, can, how can you structure that sentence? My... Uh, what? Okay, try to structure the sentence. If I pay, if I pay for, for something is mine. Okay, good. There you go. If I pay for something, it's mine. Okay. Awesome. <coughs> I don't want to know where you can apply that, but awesome. Okay. So let me see. Um, Angel, how about you? One with the zero conditional, one condition that is true for you. Okay, teacher. Is is I don't I is I don't eat healthy. I have a problem with my blood pressure. pressure. Very good. If I don't eat healthy, I get problems with my pressure. Okay. Great. That is one. Now another one. I noticed that you had problem problems with was the use of uh, should and could. What was I requesting you here? Something that you could do in your work, but you should not do it. Like for example, hey, I could watch Netflix in my work, but I should not do it, right? Okay, now think about something that you could do in your house, but you should not do it in your house. Luis, something you could do in your house, but you should not do it. I could smoke. In my house, but I should not because my children. Oh, great job. Now, let me see. Mabel, how about you? Mm, I could, um, I don't know. How do you say it? <laughs> throw? Throw. Throw my clothes, but I couldn't, <laughs> but I shouldn't. You shouldn't throw it on the floor, like, throw the clothes. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, Christian, how about you? Uh, I, every, I could everything. <laughs> so, uh, I could um, go to sleep late, but, but I shouldn't. But you shouldn't. But at the I end, should. you go late because of the yeah. classes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Isabel, how about you? Not there, Isabel. Okay. Uh, Madeline. 
Sam. Okay. Um, if I uh, oh, we are in this one. Okay. But not in your work, but in your house. The work you should not in your work. Uh, in my house. Yes. Okay. I should. I shouldn't smoke a smoke cigarette in my house. So you could smoke in your house, but you shouldn't. But you live alone, so it's like you could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's. I'm sorry, teacher. I live alone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so you you could do everything. Uh, let me yes. see, Joanna. No, there, no answer. Okay, um, guys. So keep in mind that right. This was uh what it was requested. Okay. Uh, the use of could and should. No sé si tienen alguna duda con alguna estructura. Recuerden, este es presente simple, presente simple. Este lleva el have con el verbo en pasado participio. Ok. Y el could y el should, después del could y should, todos los verbos van normales. No importa si hay tercera persona. That's like basic rules. Esas son como las reglas básicas de, de todas esta, estas tres estructuras. No questions, doubts. Suggestions? No? Okay. Perfect. So, from my part, um, that will be it, right? De mi parte, eso sería todo, chicos. That's um, the end of the module, basically, right? Um, we just got like one minute and some seconds, right? Um, so, like I said, any doubt, please, please ask Jessica. Ella está ahí en el grupo. Uh, pueden escribirle un mensaje privado, pues para no estar ahí en el grupo preguntando, para que ella les aclare las dudas sobre las inscripciones, qué documentos presentar, qué necesitan, cuándo inician. A mí me han comentado que posiblemente inician el 17 si entregan todo. Pues depende de eso. Pero ella ya con seguridad les puede decir sí, inician el 17, no, inician después o la fecha que vaya a ser, right so, um, so far, everybody goes to the next level, okay? My advice, my advice, guys, is that participate. Sé que muchos, he notado que muchos ya tienen bastantes estructuras gramaticales bien definidas. Pero lo que necesitan es hablar, practicar. Entonces, participen en las clases con el próximo, los próximos maestros que tengan. Hablen. Ahí está la clave. Hablar, 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 hablar. Si se equivoca, no importa. Recuerde que ni los maestros que le van a estar enseñando, ellos también tuvieron que aprenderlos. Ellos también se equivocaron. A ellos también los corrigieron otros maestros. Right? Um, so, you go in the same process. Okay? So, please keep in mind that. Okay? Uh, we get 9.30. So, we got the time. Okay? Um, any final doubt? Teacher. Yes. Eso lo quería darle las gracias. Fue un excelente curso. Thank, Thank you. you for your time, teacher. Thanks to you too. Thanks to you too. Uh, keep on, right? Keep on and don't give up. No se rindan. Ok. Uh, sé que el curso es gratis y a veces cuando las cosas son gratis es como, ah, no estoy ni pagando. Pero, ok, hay que verle la ventaja. Ups, no estoy pagando. Voy a aprovechar. Es de gratis. Right? So take advantage. Okay, sé que la hora no ayuda, pero um, yes, tell me. ¿Usted qué recomendaría para mejorar la fonética? Yo por lo menos tengo ese problema. Pronunciation, sing songs, cante canciones. Cante canciones en inglés. Oiga la canción que le gusta en inglés, pero con la letra vaya cantándola a la par. En el baño, pronuncia. Ahí en el baño, I want to break free, con todo. <risa> Pero para pronunciación y listening les ayuda bastante las canciones. Películas en inglés con subtítulos en inglés, no en español. ¿Ok? Y para el speaking, hablar. Eso es todo. Hable. Speak. Right? Ahí está la clave. Entonces... Los maestros les pueden estar dando todas las estructuras gramaticales sabidas y por haber, explicarles, practicar, 
pero al final, si no lo hablan, si no lo practican, van a aprender a escribirlo, van a aprender a leerlo, pero no van a aprender a hablarlo. Right? Y eso les pasa a muchos. Entonces, speak. That's all. Okay? So, thank you so much, guys. It's been a pleasure. Uh, maybe I might see you in another course. Podría verlos en algún otro curso. Right? I don't know. Uh, but if not, it was a pleasure to meet all of you, right? You got my number, uh, any doubt or anything you need, you can text me, right? I will help you out, okay? All you, there. Okay? So have a great day and have a great night, okay? See you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you for all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Happy vacation. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Happy vacation. Yes, one week. <laughs>